came with the assurance and experience of the Euro Group. Manufacturing high pressure cylinders for CNG onboard application for automobiles. Cascades and cylinders for industrial gases at its plant at Kandla Special Economic Zone, KASEZ, Gandhidham, Kach, Gujarat, India. EICL believes to be better of the best and has installed capacity to manufacture 500,000 seamless carbon steel cylinders annually, employing state-of-the-art Liefeld German technology. EICL manufactures cylinders with outer diameters of 232 millimeters to 356 millimeters and 406 millimeters with length varying from 600 millimeters to 2500 millimeters and having water equivalent capacity of 22 liters to 200 liters. EICL cylinders adhere to the highest international certification by world-class third-party inspection agencies under ISO 11439-2000, IS 7285-Part 1, IS 7285-Part 2, IS 15490-2004, and NZS 5454 standards and UN ECE regulations. Production process. The production process adopted for the manufacturing of the CNG cylinders is not only quality control but also uses state-of-the-art machinery and modern methodology for maximum output. Raw materials Seamless tubes with required outer diameter and wall thickness with defined metallurgical and chemical properties manufactured from world reputed tube manufacturers is used as raw material. Tube cutting The seamless tubes are then cut and sized into desired lengths to accommodate various water capacities via a bimetallic bandsaw cutting method. Bottom spinning This tube is then taken for the bottom spinning process where one end of the seamless tube is heated in the induction heater up to 1200 degrees centigrade and then fed into the high-speed CNC operated hot spinning machine to get the desired bottom shape. The world-class German machines Liefeld installed at our plant ensure that the metal fusion takes place at the center, joints are leak free and that proper dimensional tolerances and dome shape is maintained at all times. Bottom press. The tube is then transferred to a 500 tons hydraulic press for the bottom press to get a concave shape if so desired. Bottom milling. Bottom milling is then done at the center to ensure proper bottom fusion and to remove any surface scales that might have generated during spinning operation. 100% ultrasonic testing is done to ensure fusion. Next spinning. The other end of the cylinder is then heated in the induction heater up to 1200 degrees Celsius and then fed to high speed CNC operated hot spinning machine to get the desired neck shape. Neck cutting and drilling. Once the neck is formed, the cylinder is then cut into desired neck length and a hole is drilled into the cylinder with a high speed HSS drill. Heat treatment. The cylinder is processed through an LPG fired heat treatment furnace, Westman, to ensure proper strength of material. The hardening, quenching and tempering operations are done at continuous walking beam type furnace with maintenance of proper concentration of polymer quenching shell.
hardness checking. Each cylinder is tested for its resistance after the final heat treatment. Neck machining. All operations like facing, turning, boring and threading are performed on the cylinder neck by a CNC machine as per the specification IS 3224-2002 or any other specification as per customer requirement. Thread checking. The threads are checked with calibrated gauges to ensure proper fitment with standard valves. Hydrostatic testing. Each cylinder is subjected to hydrostatic stretch test at test pressures. Air leakage testing. Each cylinder is thereafter subjected to pneumatic pressure equal to its working pressure. Internal cleaning. Steel shot with air pressure is used to clean the cylinders from the inside and remove the internal scales as well. External cleaning. Steel shots with blasting chambers are used for the external cleaning of the cylinders that also get rid of all external scales prior to painting. Ultrasonic testing. The cylinders are further subjected to an ultrasonic examination for proper flow and defects if any at the parallel wall, bottom and neck portion. Marking on cylinder. The cylinder's data stamping is then done with an 8mm size punch permanently on the neck as per approved drawing. Spray painting The epoxy spray painting is done on the external surface of the cylinder to protect it from the harsh environment and it is then dried in the baking oven. Dispatch the cylinders prepared under precision equipment and expertise is then finally dispatched to the final destination. To come and experience the Euro brand of trust.